अनुष्का गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो सर गुड मॉर्निंग सो अनुष्का वी आर प्रोसीडिंग अहेड विद द इंटर्नशिप सीरीज एंड वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड आईएसटीआर पुणे लास्ट टाइम सो व्हाट इज देयर फॉर टुडे व्हाट इज द डिस्कशन फॉर टुडे ओके सो दिस इज लाइक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इमोशनल थिंग बिकॉज़ टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग टू स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग आईएसआर भोपाल इंटर्नशिप एंड this is one of the place from where i did my internship that is my summer research internship when i was mm-hmm. in my uh, beginning of my uh, fourth year of my engineering so mm-hmm. today i'll be telling them what is the start date for applications and who all are eligible to apply for this internship program and mm-hmm. approximately what uh, expense they are going to face regarding hostel and mess mm-hmm. charges and mm-hmm. what are the available uh, fields like okay. the options Wonderful. so let's start yeah. okay so now to start as you can see i have just uh, gone to the website of iser bhopal and on the first page itself they have mentioned a um, section called summer internship program 2025 now you just need to download the pdf and it will uh, a uh, come in a like a different tab uh, wherein they they have mentioned their uh, iser iser bhopal summer internship program for 2025 and the most uh, interesting thing is that and it it is advantage for students so the portal is going to be open uh, open from march 1st so you still have time to you know go through the professors research areas and their uh, personal websites so you have time from march 1st till march 21st if you are uh, going to apply for this internship program mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now uh, there are various uh, categories or fields of uh, interest uh, it includes basic sciences engineering sciences economic sciences humanities and social sciences so if you are studying any of this uh, subjects you can go ahead and apply to this internship now they have mentioned the eligibility and rules regarding this internship so it's only for students who have completed or they are currently studying in their either second third or fourth year of their bachelor's in science btech bsms uh, or bsms integrated and be or if the, if you are doing your masters that is msc or mtech then you should be uh, like you should have completed your first year then you are eligible to apply and uh, then the next step is to uh, fill the online application form so currently this link is not uh, like functional because the portal is going to open from march 1st so you can uh, you all can try uh, opening this application fr- form from starting from march 1st and please do not provide any false information and it will invite cancellation of application and registration so the they have given students three options so you can uh, select up to three projects under three uh, different uh, professors and they are going to list their uh, name of the projects and the professors in their application form itself they did the same for uh, my during my time so if you want to know more about their faculties research areas and what all projects they are conducting you can go to this uh, institute's website to get more information about the faculties research areas mm-hmm. and the faculty if they are not mentioning in the list so it means that they are not uh, uh, like recruiting uh, summer interns currently for this year mm-hmm. so you don't have to directly contact them for any projects now the project mm-hmm. duration is for 4 uh, to 8 weeks that is between may 26th and july 21st so uh, like generally this pe- in this period uh, students get vacation so y- you must be free so you can uh, utilize this time for something productive and do your summer research internship now they have also mentioned selection criteria and uh, so candidates will be selected based on their academic performance and the write up that is your statement of purpose they'll require a statement of purpose for each project so you have to submit a write up and then they are going to evaluate your application 
also uh, they'll uh, uh, display the list of selected candidates for summer internship by third week of april and your internship is going to start from may 26th that is the may end and they are not going to provide any financial assistance but uh, they'll be providing you hostel accommodation and you have to pay for your own hostel charges so the charges are approximately 1500 per month so you'll have to stay for two months so, so the total expense for just for your hostel it comes uh, to 3000 and mess facility is also like uh, available uh, so the rate is 3700 per month and after uh, you complete your internship after successful completion of your internship you you have to submit a detailed project report the project that you did during your research internship and only then your faculty in charge can uh, provide you with a certificate also if you have any query they have mentioned this email address you can just email the um, email at the mentioned email address if you have any queries regarding the summer internship program and they have mentioned clearly that kindly do not contact the concerned faculty for selection information after applying for internship so i think you just have to wait for the results uh, till the third week of april so you don't have to like uh, approach them through email personally so if you are interested you can go ahead and apply and the application opens from march 1st 2025 so this was all about icer bhopal summer internship program okay so uh, uh anushka i have a couple of things to ask you uh, wonderful yes. presentation wonderful information and uh, needless to say this was instrumental in your selection uh, i think in direct uh, fully funded yes. scholarship yeah. Yes. So I have a couple yeah. of questions. Number one, yeah. they have given the details of the projects and professors who are handling those projects. Yeah. So uh, can a student approach professor uh, before he applies uh, for the internship, uh, asking him, requesting him for the internship opportunity? Uh, actually, I don't think uh, before they can uh, approach because the pro projects are going to be listed on March 1st. Only then okay. they'll get to know that what actually I'm going to work. Uh, yeah. No, no. After that, only I'm telling you. Like, suppose a student is interested in some particular project. I saw the okay. project and I got interested in that. So, mm -hmm. uh, the way we uh, mail professors, foreign universities, that professor I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. what I could understand from this is like they have said that uh, once your internship kelly you applied, applied, then wait. You may get the response. Yeah. You need not to ask yeah. the professor. That truly understandable. But before uh, you know, when you are applying, you can always. Tell your research proposal to the professor. That is a normal procedure in yeah. foreign universities also. So should that can that be done? Yeah, actually I did it because uh, I did not know the right path. So uh, what I did was I submitted my application and then I emailed the professor that my application ID is X Y Z and I am mm. really interested to work under you on this particular project. I have some um, some skills that that is required for this particular project. And if you are, yeah, and if you are really liking my profile, please reply. So then yeah. he replied me after one month. So he was asking me if you are really available to do this project because you okay. live in Mumbai and you're going to come to Bhopal. Yeah. So is this really mm. feasible mm. for you? So that was the question he was asking. Then I told him, yes, I, I'll do it. And then he selected me. So, so you stayed within the campus of ICR Bhopal? Yes, uh, yes. I stayed in, inside the campus. But you paid in some amount, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So roughly how many days you stayed there and how much was the total expenditure for you, Anushka? Okay, so I stayed there for two months and mm. as they have mentioned the hostel accommodation charges, it was around 1500 for me as well. So for my okay. hostel accommodation, I paid 3000 for two months and for mm. mess, uh, it was a little less. I think it was 3000 ish okay. per month. Mm. So I spent 6000 for mess and mm. then 3000 for hostel accommodation. So, so eventually approximately 10 k Mm, yeah, 10,000. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you were supposed to take your beddings or something or that was provided in the hostel? How was it? like? Uh, bedding, a soft bedding is provided if you need any bed sheets or extra things. That you can table, do. like basic furniture was provided in the hostel. Mm. If, if you need any extra bed sheets and all, you had to carry that. 
So that means uh, approximately 10k you can think of, right? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now Anushka, one more thing. A write up. Yes. You have to submit a write up, as they said. What is the meaning of that write up? Is it statement of purpose, it, or what should be typical ingredient length of that, and what should be mentioned in that? I think they uh, mention the word limit. I I don't exactly remember it now, but it's uh, like one paragraph you have to submit, and you need to mention why are you interested in uh, doing this particular uh, project that is under this professor. So I mentioned that I did uh, an assignment related to this project that I'll be doing in Iser Bhopal, and I have some amount of uh, like some related knowledge to that project, and mm -hmm. in one two three lines I just explain how I will. Catch carry out using my previous skills and mm -hmm. that's it nothing nothing too okay. much not like a general phd application sop not like mm -hmm. that so it is looking so, like uh, as i was seeing uh, second year third year final year students they have uh, you know uh, think uh, just imagine second year btech student who is not having much exposure or background he is mm -hmm. interested to work in particular field let us say he is interested to work in particular research field for which mm -hmm. he does not have any experience but he has a damn interest in that so how he should approach in his uh, then yeah so i think that particular student should tell the professor that my future goal is to pursue a phd and i require some skills for this particular mm -hmm. research area or research topic so i would mm -hmm. be really interested in doing this project i would gain skills and apply to my phd uh, project so it would be really beneficial for my future studies so that is what he can mention okay and and uh, anushka typically two months how they yeah. are spent i mean what professors expect uh, you to do and with which people you sit there and do you get research infrastructure lab do you get how is that ecosystem there okay so initially uh, in your first week they won't give you a lot of work because they'll just teach you what you should do what is the lab uh, ethics and all what is the like the safety related uh, things they'll explain you how you should work inside the lab so first week is like very chill you don't have to uh, worry too much from second week they actually train you for the project so you work under one phd a particular phd student you do a part of his his or her phd project and mm -hmm. that is assigned by the advisor itself you don't mm -hmm. have a choice to select your own mentor mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. your phd student so mm -hmm. that is assigned by your advisor and then you have to work under him or her that is your that is any of the phd students there and mm. then he or she is going to train you how to do it mm. and then you practice and mm. then you continue doing the project so mm. Mm. and there are that. the research mm. lab was excellent i mean uh i did not i i don't have that lab here also <laughs> i feel that so mm. i sir bhopal research labs are excellent especially for biological science i don't know about other departments but yeah mm. for biology it's excellent and the mm -hmm. research uh, like the scholars the phd scholars they are i mean too intelligent mm -hmm. so okay so so uh, any any uh, any uh, guide guide points any guidelines you want to give to the people who want to go for internship and spend their two months in such organizations i uh, i think i would tell that uh, just keep going because i faced uh, like difficulty initially because uh, you need to wake up at 9 <laughs> <laughs> you need to continue your work till 6 and 7 pm so mm. you have to build the discipline and habit and you have to show up every day like mm. you have to do it continuously and if you are really interested motivated i think mm. you you will do it and please do apply just apply mm. for the internships mm. okay so that was wonderful uh, anushka so i believe uh, similar to icr bhopal is uh, last time we covered icr pune i think there are other icrs also and yes. i'm very really sure uh, students must be getting opportunities for internship yeah. in those icrs also so we uh, uh, advise all the we'll students we'll be covering those yeah. icrs also icr mohali yeah, and there's one in south part of india yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. be covering those okay so that that brings us to an end of this wonderful session anushka so sometime i'll request you to interact with those students who are aspirant for these kind of internship maybe some yes. guidelines from your side yes okay thank you anushka thank you sir